Texas Senator Ted Cruz is a member of the Judiciary Committee. Good morning to you, Senator. Great to have you here this Good morning. morning. Great to see you. What a week. <laughs> it, you know, slow news day. Not, not much happening. <laughs> I mean, I mean, put this in perspective. I mean, where does this leave things? And as we make very clear that Congress goes off for a two week recess now. Look, Washington is always a circus, but but this is three rings with all the clowns and, 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 and it's nuts right now. And, and, and it's driven at the end of the day. Congressional Democrats are angry. They're angry about the 2016 election. And ultimately, they're angry at the voters. They're angry that the voters elected President Trump. All of this from day one. From day one, they have been wanting to get this president out of office. And as a result, they're not doing their job. They're not actually interested in legislating. They're not actually interested in, in working together to produce more jobs and raise wages and expand opportunity. It's just about attacking Clearly, the Senator, you're referencing back to the, the, the impeachment announcement made this yeah. week by the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. In the days that followed that, we got the release of this transcript phone call with the president of Ukraine. That was then made public, unredacted. Then the whistleblower complaint the next day, that came out for the public to see. And read, did anything that came up in both of those documents concern you, Senator? Well, listen, the, what we have seen from the Democrats is a consistent and relentless push to impeach, regardless of the facts. So for months and months and months, it was all about Mueller. Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. Mueller is going to prove everything's wrong. Then the Mueller report came in and it found no collusion. And suddenly all the Democrats who had been screaming impeach, they had nothing to say. Now, right now, they're all screaming, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. And oddly enough, it's the exact same conclusion, impeach the president. By the way, in a month or two, it's liable to be something else. It's not driven by facts. Look, we ought to know what the facts are. I, uh, there's an investigation in the Senate. The Senate voted unanimously to send this complaint to the Senate Intelligence Committee. We'll figure out what the facts are. Were the allegations about pressuring the Ukrainian president to act on Joe Biden's family using congressionally approved funds Mentions of Rudy Giuliani meeting with world leaders. This is the president's personal attorney. Did anything concern you? Well, look, I read the transcript carefully. I've read the entire whistleblower complaint, so-called whistleblower complaint. I, I got to say, the transcript sure didn't live up to its billing. So just a few days ago, the Democrats were breathlessly on TV saying, you're going to see an illegal quid pro quo. It's going to prove that. Well, you look at the transcript, there's no illegal quid pro quo in that transcript. The, 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 the president is asking another foreign leader to assist in investigating, number one, election interference into 2016. Now, now that investigating election interference into 2016 is, is a perfectly legitimate and appropriate law enforcement priority that the Democrats have been talking nonstop about Russian interference. I'm, I'm not sure why they somehow think Ukrainian interference shouldn't be examined. It, it, it strikes me, uh, you ran for president, you fought Donald Trump tooth and nail. I mean, you, you two exchanged some pretty mm, tough <laughs> language. But at the end of the day, he won and you recognize him as the president. Yep. It appears that many on the other side of the aisle have not accepted that outcome. Well, I, I've got a job to do. And, and my job is representing 28 million Texans. So, so you're right. Look, there was a rough and tumble primary. There were some hard blows that were thrown. But, but at the end of the day, we have a democratic process. The voters decided Donald Trump is the president. And, and my job is to fight for the people of Texas. And, and so I've worked hand in hand with the president for the last two and a half years, worked very closely with the president. I, uh, he was down in Houston just, just on Sunday. I was with him at, at an incredible event with India's Prime Minister Modi. And, and you know, the Democrats, starting on Election Day, th there was like this primal scream. Look, we all remember watching, and, and you could see the newscasters on, on other networks that I, I think there's no mystery for whom they voted in 2016. You could see their look of shock and anger, and that anger has never receded. But that brings us to today, and Nancy Pelosi says this is not about politics in her moment this week. She says it's about putting country before party. Here's the speaker in her own words. The impeachment of a president is as serious as uh, our c congressional responsibilities can be, uh, apart from declaring war or something. And uh, so uh, we have to be very prayerful. The Democrats and Republicans, we have to put country before party very clearly in the public view.